Welcome back to my channel guys, so here we go, it's been a while since I have done a video on a future, so here we go, so this is the Dow Jones, so listen, we are very much in a bear market at the moment, the momentum and the price action continues to be bearish, you've got all these short sellers continuously coming in, driving the price down, you know, it's the rhetoric, it's the news, it's the global status, but I've said before, I do not trade the news. I still do not trade the news, not even when intraday swinging. What I am trading is, I am trading momentum and price action, okay? That's what I'm trading. So, intermittently throughout today, I'm looking at these opportunities. I'm looking for the right opportunity to place an intraday swing. Now, at the moment, they are predominantly short positions because unless you're scalp trading, it is very very risky to take long positions on futures at the moment okay it's different when you're scalp trading because you're only in for a number of seconds you know maximum a number of minutes then you're out because then it's going to pull back and reverse so this is a very good opportunity at the moment because i know there's a lot of you out there that don't get the opportunity to scalp the opens because of work commitments and other commitments so this is a really good opportunity at the moment for you to capitalize on what's happening in the market so it's a bear market, you know, we've just got these short positions continuously coming in. You know, they're, they're pre-market, they're during the session, you know, after the session closes, i.e. the New York Stock Exchange, it's continuing, okay? So, Dow Jones, FTSE 100, we know that they move very similar, okay? One influences the other. So you can try the FTSE 100, you can try the Dow Jones at the moment, and it's a really good way to intraday swing. So very happy with this one. It was almost 1.3K, okay? So almost 1.3K shorting the Dow Jones in the morning session. Okay, so this is actually a number of hours before the market opened. So multi-time, I've done this in the morning. You know, the New York Stock Exchange, you know, people are still, still in bed, but I took advantage of the short momentum and short price action. Okay, so it's good to be back with some futures trading. You know, I've been asked so many times recently, over the past kind of six months, when are you gonna put out, you know, futures trading like you used to on the opens? Well, do you know what, guys, you know, if you wanna learn that fine detail, you need to join the Sambora trading community, okay? and I'll teach you how to scalp the open on futures because we still predominantly trade futures in my chat room, in my Discord community, in my trading community. We very rarely trade stocks, we very rarely trade penny stocks, it's predominantly futures and it's predominantly the FTSE 100 and the DAX on the European Open and then literally 99% of my students, and we all trade the Dow Jones on the European Open. Sometimes we'll change to a stock if the setup is not right in the future. But we are basically a futures trading community. Okay, so I'm back with a, a futures trading video. I said I was gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. So this is, um, I'll do a couple of more throughout the month. I'm not sure I'm gonna show you how I scalp because as I said before, if you wanna know how I scalp on the open with my students, you need to join the Sambora trading community. There's only so much free education that you guys can get, okay? There's only so much free education. You know, if you want the finer detail, well then you need to join the community, okay? You need to integrate with the community, become a member of the Sambora trading community. Okay, so, we continue to move forward. As I said, it's a very interesting time, this. You know, I was watching the Dow Jones during the morning and it just seemed to break through a major support level. It had been rejected a number of times, and this is the important thing. I put out a video a while ago about rejections, about how to understand and identify minor rejections and major rejections. So I was watching it. It continuously rejected a support level. I continued to watch it. Eventually, it broke through that support level. And as soon as it broke through that support level, I immediately placed my short position. I was in the position for maybe, I think it was maybe about 20 minutes, half an hour, something like that. It's difficult to remember because when you're actually in a position, it feels like an hour sometimes, even though it's a couple of minutes. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoy this week's video. Before we crack on, make sure that you smash that like button, make sure that you subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And if you wanna follow me on Instagram, it's sambora.00. Or if you wanna get in touch with me, and if you wanna join the Sambora trading community, 
You can DM me at my Instagram, sambora.00, or you can email me, eduardosambora at yahoo.com. Enjoy this week's video. It's been almost a year since I put a futures video out. We're back with futures video. What we'll be doing, I'll be doing some pre-market trading and then some intraday trading as well. I'm still not sure I'm gonna show you how I scalp now on the open because it has changed slightly. Okay, so enjoy this week's video, guys. Okay, here we go, the Dow Jones. So this is on a downward spiral, so I'm just gonna hop onto the bandwagon here, so here we go. So this is gonna be an intraday swing, okay? So this is not a scalp, but it's still, it's still a big position, okay? Um, when the market is the way it is at the moment, extremely bearish, you must, you simply must, you know, take advantage of that. So short position, hold it for a while, maybe half an hour, something like that. We'll see how it goes. But look at that, unbelievable, okay? Already up a K. Now listen, you know me by now, I'm not looking to make 10K a trade or even 5K a trade. You know, a little bit more, I'm happy with that, okay? It's all about being consistent. But this is um this is a, an interesting time. Um it's it's very dangerous to buy the dip now at the moment, but what we're looking at here is we're looking at some serious momentum, okay? It's a bear market. You know, con it's continually selling off. There was a there was a lot of negative news today. Um and that is essentially pushing down the price. So I'm not trading the news, I'm trading the momentum here. That's exactly what I'm trading, is momentum. I am trading price action. And that's it, you know. You could see from where it opened last night, where futures futures basically close for an hour during the night and then they reopen, and it's just continued to be bearish, so why not take advantage of that? You know, it's, it's uh, I only intraday swing when, you know, when the conditions are right, when the market is right, otherwise I don't, I just scalp. But this is um this is a good time to be in the market in terms of intraday swinging. Um I wouldn't swing trade now at the moment, but I will certainly intraday. So interesting times, very interesting. But there's still you know, you can see where the price act, price action is continuing to go. It's still continuing to be bearish. Um but it is kind of making some rejections now. So I'm not gonna hold this too much longer. You know, you can't. You know, you know, even when you when you even when you intraday swing, you can only hold it for a certain amount of time because otherwise it's gonna pull back and then you've got to wait again and then you're stuck in a position. So the whole thing about intraday swing trading is that you're only in a position for it could be anywhere from fifteen minutes to half an hour to an hour. You know, but you don't want to be stuck in positions for hours. That's for sure. That's what swing trading is for, and this is not swing trading. This is intraday trading. Okay, so but you can see it is starting to reject, it is starting to hit a number of support levels. So it is being rejected, i.e., it's starting to reverse away. So I'll be taking this pretty soon because again, it's this it's the same as I tell my students when we are scalp trading. Intraday trading is a little bit um the same in the sense that you cannot hold a position for too long. You know, you can't, you know. This is why scalp trading, intraday trading, and swing trading, they're all completely different. But um, I'm gonna take that now, happy with that. And why not? Let's, let's just. Okay, so there you have it. So almost 1.3K on the Dow Jones on a short position. As I said before, it's a very interesting time. It's a very good time to be intraday swing trading if you, if you have other commitments. At the moment, intraday is very, very good. However, we still do scalp the open. And as I said before, we scalp the Dow Jones on the open. Now the market has changed slightly, okay? There used to be a longer consolidation period before it started to recover or before it started to pull back. That has changed, it changed a couple of months back. Um, and that's why it's good to, to be in a community because even if you're not aware of these things, somebody else can point that out to you. So that's why it's good to be in a community because you can really stay up to date with exactly what's happening. Bearing in mind as well, is that when we when I trade with my students, it's live, okay? So it's the FTSE 100 um, or the DAX, usually the FTSE 100 with myself. And it's in real time, it's live. So we can see when the market conditions change. 
It's the same with the Dow Jones, okay? So instead of you know just putting some educational material out there, the material is there, but you know, you can call into the lounge and you can actually listen to me trading live and we have you know up-to-date data so if the market conditions change I identify that and we tweak we don't tweak the strategy because the strategy is still the same we trade two and um, patterns we still just trade two patterns but we've slightly tweaked and changed the rules around that so hope you enjoyed this week's video we've got some more videos coming up more futures videos so if you're into futures you know that that's what my community is all about and has been from day one is futures trading. So hope you enjoyed this week's video. We'll be back soon with more futures videos.